Greetings, on behalf of the Heads Consortium Board of Directors, I would like to welcome you to our 2024 Best Practices Showcase to celebrate technology innovation for the Hispanic success in higher education. My name is Jamilia and I will be presenting the speaker for the concurrent session of this room. Before we begin, we request your support with the following. Please change your mobile phone to silent mode to have your full attention and avoid interruptions. This session is being recorded. This presentation will be in English. Finally, our staff will pass the QR code to all participants to complete the electronic evaluation for this session before you leave the room. You can also find the QR code on your name badge. Your feedback and recommendations are very important to have. Now we are ready to start. This current session is on the track. The title, the title of the presentation is a study of assessment, assessment methods for VR meditation applications. And our speakers are Jessica Gonzalez and Raul Soto from the University of Houston downtown. Thank you. Thank you. So first, we wanted to discuss our plan for our study for VR meditation application. Uh, the background is VR application and mobile applications have been seem to help novice users during meditation because it allows them to focus and visualize better than traditional meditation techniques. Our goal is to work on a VR meditation application where the player can find hidden objects in the environment of the game. Additionally, we want to measure and evaluate the player's attention by applying meditation techniques for the effectiveness of VR application. The methods we want to use to evaluate um, we want to create a point-based scale questionnaire that measures the attention based on the state of presence and emotions of the user. Based on their emotions, an active emotion can distract the user to look for the main objective, which in this case, it will be an object, and it will be hidden during the training. And then we will conduct a questionnaire before and after meditation after the meditation training based on the mindfulness attention awareness skill. And so in our study, we had gone over software meditation applications as in mobile devices. The reason for using the mindfulness attention awareness skill that I discussed earlier is to score the characteristics of mindfulness on awareness and attention to what is currently happening. In the study of Luca, Chitaro and Andrea Mineo, thank you. They evaluated the effectiveness of software applications for new meditators on meditation techniques known as thought distancing or decentering. Decentering is useful to de stress or clear a person's mind of a negative thought or emotion. So, in this study, there was two common meditation techniques for decentering or thought distancing. One of them was cloud, and pretty much cloud is <laughs> you basically close your eyes, you think of a cloud, and you think that the negative thought, whatever you're feeling, is a cloud, and then you're imagining that cloud slowly drift away. Another one that is common is the card meditation technique. And that is the negative emotion or thought you're feeling. You write it down on a piece of paper and you physically throw it away in the trash can trying to get distance from that emotion or thought. And then um, in this study, they created a mobile application called ION. So pretty much what they did is they were able to use a mobile application, sorry, create a mobile application where the user is able to type in a text, so basically what they're thinking that day. So for this example, they use, I fear my su supervisor does not like my work. And pretty much in A, they're showing you tapping on the screen. And so the more you type, the more you're erasing it away. And that's one of the meditation techniques that they try to do in meditation application. So uh, in this slide, uh, Luca Chicharro and Andrea Vineo uh, decided to make a um, uh, 
level of disentering pleasantness and difficulty and presence of the mobile application on, and the meditation technique through a survey. So they had a total of 22 guests, and not guests, uh, volunteers, and these volunteers will write down their opinion from one to five on a scale, and they will give out what was their uh, opinion over disentering that it helped them out to have their uh, negative thoughts go away, or their, uh, uh, was it pleasantness? Was there any pleasantness of like, uh, you know, feeling great right after taking the whole process of the plow card or the Aeon technique? And the difficulty, if it was pretty simple to use these three techniques without having to make it much of a struggle. Uh, for preferences, most of the people went for Aeon, which is the uh, mobile app and is the future technology we're trying to go for. So in this study, what we're trying to use from this medita meditation techniques, these three, uh, we're trying to present that since technology is becoming a lot more simple and easier and a lot more comfortable for people nowadays, we might as well use uh, a VR, which is our goal, to use, um, to use a VR headset and enhance focus to other uh, to people. Um, other questions might lead to if it will be a distraction or will it actually increase into attention. Um, VR is just also to keep that attention. Um, in most cases in the moment, uh, attention can be used at this distraction to avoid any pains, wounds, burns, anything that, um, uh, that the patient might have had during a really bad trauma. But the amount of time spending on the VR helped them to think of way of the pain they had physically, so not just uh, emotionally, but as well physical, can remove all of the negativity away from them and keep their minds settled into the VR headsets or the virtual world. Since it's another world and you don't pretty much think of your body, but instead mostly in mind, since the mind is what stimulates uh, most of what you're going through. Uh, however, although VR helps us use this paying attention and experience, the goal of VR mindfulness skills is not to distract, but just to focus and train the users to actively control their attention within the VR experience. And to achieve this, the VR program provides objectives to redirect the user's attention to specific stimuli, such as visuals for finding hidden object objects while they're immersed in the virtual environment. This practice helps users develop active control of their intention and mindfully direct them to their different aspects of their virtual experience. This is uh, a total sum up over what I've explained, but uh, uh, that's how we want to direct into our research and uh, create our virtual reality. Uh, these are our references and uh, any questions? In what procedures did you saw that they were using VR, VR technology to distract the patient from the pain? In what procedures that we've seen? Yeah, that you read or, uh, or well, seen, or that you know about. Well, we've seen from a reference. Uh... Or in which one do you think you can be used? For example, do you think it can be used for patients that just broke their arm, maybe to distract them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so we had read that they had used in medical clinics um, for chemical burns. Okay. Yeah, so that was one study we read on um, because they have to do the cleaning and then it just it feels really painful for the patients, so they put a headset to try to distract them from that pain. And what do they put to the to the to the patient? Do they put a video game or just another picture so they can? Yeah. So usually they will put. Um, I know there was this other study that we have in the first slide. Um, they would do a uh, like a river flowing down through a boat and they'll do like a forest around them and they'll play music in the background like birds chirping, nature sounds so it doesn't feel as if so they can basically feel like they're in another world yeah, instead <laughs> of feeling inside of a, let's say a clinic most people will think, oh something ha wrong has happened to me putting on the VR headset with a different sound ambience uh, visual ambience as well 
uh, generating sounds that probably uh, sounds like you're out in nature. Your mind is thinking, you're tricking your mind into assuming you're somewhere else instead of somewhere where you think you're in danger. And you've probably done something pretty bad to yourself that you just, you start to think more negative than what you're supposed to be, like keeping yourself calm, relaxed, and understanding that you'll be okay from this virtual world, which is not just to set everything into the virtual world, since VR is at the moment is still progressing and a lot of people are trying to uh, you know, create it more, not into game, but as a simulation to let others practice or just go stay away for the moment in the mind and only in the mind. Thank you. participation in this session and for sharing your feedback. Your recommendations are very important to us. We invite you to participate in further sessions. Use the QR code in your name badge to view the program and select the topic of interest. Since this is the last session of the day, please complete the general evaluation as well. Good afternoon and on behalf of HEPS, thank you for attending its 2024 Best Practices Showcase. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This was part of the student technology class.